Now a family from Kenya's Moranga County is anxious as their kin who worked in Saudi Arabia cannot be traced. Mary Mulinge last called her family in July and this is just one of the many cases reported of Kenyans suffering in, ev in even disappearing in the Middle East. Sharon Momani reports. The pain of a child is best understood by a parent, goes a saying, and such is the pain of Nancy Wangari. A year ago, her daughter Mary Molingi traveled to Saudi Arabia in search of greener pastures. All went seemingly. Received a call from Mary, one that made them anxious. For the last three months, the family says they have been trying to reach Mary in vain. Before July, all was well. She would regularly send money to her family, also meant to support her three children, whom dated July 15th is the last she sent. They have not heard from her since. Efforts to reach her on phone have been futile. The family is now worried even more as they have no clue how to possibly help their daughter if she needs help. They are helpless. Naomba serikali wanisaidie kwa maana mimi kuna tafu mingi sana. Haisi pika huko, ajui wapi? Eh, mimi najua hapa tu. Lakini serikali iko mkono mrefu. Inaisa pika huko na inarudishia. <tos> Cases of mistreatment of Kenyan workers in Saudi Arabia had hit headlines in 2013 and 2014, so much so that the government had announced strategies to mitigate such cases by having all migrant workers registered as well as having details of their foreign employers recorded at Kenya's embassy in the country. The challenge to this is that there are migrants who still leave the country without reporting or through unknown agents, making it harder to trust them while abroad. Sister Agu, hata wenye walieda nao, ni watu wanyanyuki, wenye walikuwa menini, ni watu walikuwa na juwana. Sasa, hata sile sida mepitia, hmm? sijui kama hao anapitia. In June this year, Foreign Affairs Cabinet Secretary Amina Mohamed called for a total ban on the ferrying of Kenyans to work as domestic. Mohamed had said that a task force she commissioned to look into issues affecting Kenyans working in Saudi Arabia and the United Arab Emirates revealed that Kenyans suffer as slaves. Out of the 30,000 Kenyans working in the region, only 17,000 are registered with the Kenyan embassy, showing that smuggling of workers is still rampant, and many families like Mary's remain anxious about the safety of their own. Sharon Momani, KTN News.